Welcome back to the channel and today we have another update video for Wonderland. Missed the video yesterday because I was away but we are back now with the daily content covering Wonderland updates, a bit of Wolf Mountain, maybe some Drip Network coming up and a brand new BNB project launching tomorrow so stay tuned for that one. Again thank you guys for the support on that last video it was absolutely insane. It's crazy, we're sort of getting a good momentum and snowball for the channel, so it is very nice. And yeah, thank you again for everyone enjoying these update videos. And drop any suggestions down below if there's things you want me to cover on the channel. Before we get any further, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So if we take a look into the Wonderland Discord, we have a few things to catch up on. So since the last video, there was voting live for WIP 15.1 and 15.2. These were pretty simple ones, basically just appointing the, well, we've got deal and we have Ferengi and it's about appointing those for treasury operators. So in the previous videos, we covered their basic proposals, what they're gonna try and do for the treasury. Again, this can all be read here in WIP 15.1 and 15.2. Again, they had their call cool letters of basically stating what they're gonna do for the treasury, but all in all, they both were pretty much looking at increasing Wonderland's exposure to different protocols, earn a higher revenue for the treasury, and then in return up the APY for the W memo staking and then of course with the extra profits do some buybacks of W memo so overall fingers crossed are benefiting the holders so here we can see to a point deal it's basically a hundred percent it's 222,000 to 8.5 time pretty unanimous here everyone is very happy and we can see with Ferengi it's basically the same 98.2 to 1.7 again this one's 182 to 3,000 everybody is happy with both of them so these end on sunday so just over a week for these votes and once these do go through i'm sure they'll both sort of have a clarification post maybe an ama talking through with both of those guys so that will be very interesting to look at and fingers crossed when once they get sort of settled in their role they can generate some higher yields for the treasury and then in return, we can get more profits from our W memo farming. If we also take a look into the Discord, there was another post. The proposal to transition Wonderland Tech and add team member has been approved as RFC on the governance forum. Please be sure to read and engage. So this, I believe, was after Danny was going. You can see the scope to transfer all of the Wonderland Tech and Docs to the elected team. It empowers the team lead Alice to make team changes. We want to add a catalyst to help with the tech transitions. The objective of this was again, trans, uh, transition over all tech and docs from the outgoing team to the current elected team. Formally grant Alice the ability to add and remove from the team so long as such changes do not incur cost. Low level details. Point one, allow Alice to make changes with no additional cost to the DAO with prior minimum 48 hour notification. Provide authorization to access, improve and troubleshoot or otherwise make changes to the official Wonderland tech and documentation. And Catalyst, a long time community member who helps with server bot security and runs Wonderland tracking website frogs.army will join the team to assist in house here. So here was a little vote. We can see again, 96% of people are voting yes. So again, I'm sure this will be happening very shortly. And today we have a brand new post. Hello, Wonderland. The proposal for multi-farm treasury dashboard development has been approved as an RFC on the governance forum. Please read and comment on the forum with your feedback. So this was the last video I covered on the channel about this brand new Wonderland treasury dashboard that would be built. By taking a look at it, it did look very, very good. It was by the same people, Multifarm. And again, Multifarm had many partnerships already with different DeFi projects. So we can see they built the Olympus DAO Treasury dashboard. They're working with Sphere, Polygon already. So it did look very good. However, it was a little bit expensive. We can see the development phases did would cost a little bit. And of course, this, I assume, would come from the Treasury funds. 
So we can see the design phase one week would be $5,000. Front end development would be about two weeks for 20,000. And then the back end would be 25,000. So in total, it cost around $50,000 and it would take around four to five weeks for this. Then there will be co-marketing efforts. So should a thread, Discord post, AMA, Medium article, long lasting relationship with the partners. I agree that is a good point there to develop and contribute to spread awareness, helping with the D app revamp Re requires a separate proposal, further details. So I guess this is sort of a start of a partnership. We'll see what the vote looks like. We can see 92% of people were voting yes to build the treasury dashboard. I do think it is very good because you can sort of revamp the dashboard for the treasury, then you can revamp the original DAP. And then I guess from that, with the sort of partners with Multifarm, that could open up some more opportunities. Again, it might be expensive, but hopefully with our new treasury operators, if they can generate a good yield from the overall treasury, this 50,000 shouldn't be too much. Again, as a percentage of all the funds, it isn't massive. But I guess if you're an investor into Wonderland and you're hearing they're spending 50,000 just for a dashboard, it might look like a lot. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on this dashboard transition. Again, if I open up the post, we can see some of the mockups, which did look very nice. So here, one of the mockups would be your Wonderland key metrics. So you'd have your market cap, W memo price. You can see your risk-free value of treasury assets, project owned liquidity. Then you can see the circulating supply, the market value, current index, which again, the index won't be changing anymore. So I guess this is slightly old mock-up total value deposited and you can see per day and then the market value of treasury assets next one here we can see the treasury allocation so you'd be able to see the monthly estimated income the net worth and estimated daily of the treasury your backing per w memo premium backing which i'm not too sure what that one is and then again we can see liquid backing risk-free backing etc it's it's pretty high in depth showing uh, sort of grouping of all the assets and then the backing and the total value of each of those so you can have your risk free or your liquidity backing or obviously maybe some higher risk plays then here we can see like a category view so you can see protocol and liquidity reserve assets other assets incubator protocols it will be very nice just to have a sort of a full on and transparent look at the full treasury assets what is going on within there and again, you're invested in W Memo to earn rewards from the treasury. But even if you're seeing how Wonderland are doing it, that could even inspire you to sort of just deploy your own assets to these different funds to generate yourself a yield on your own if you're even looking at that. But yeah, that is all of the news for Wonderland. I didn't do a three weeks earning update, but I'll show you a sneak peek here. We can see the APR still around 13% and we're up to 160 BSGG. There will be an update on a Sunday. So that will be my sort of one month or well, four weeks in a Wonderland farm. So I'll show you guys my earnings there. But yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying these update videos. Again, make sure to subscribe down below because so many of you guys watching these videos are not subscribed if you're interested in Wonderland. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.